Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Traveling Trickster book from Mel Mellers. Who is Mel Mellers? Uh, he is a very popular uh, comedy magician, travels all around the world, has a signature hat, carries a little briefcase, and he does like practical magic, uh, stage magic, parlor magic. It's all kind of very tongue in cheek. Uh, I don't want to say it's insult magic, but he's kind of, he's a little, he's, he's so funny, like sarcastically, he's kind of a little dark. Um, it's a great book full of a lot of his wonderful magic tricks. Uh, and so let's get on into it. Lovely lady there. Are you all right? What is your name? No, 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 the lovely lady. Um... <laughs> This lady here sacrificing, sacrificing fashion for comfort this evening. Um. Like Fred Astaire. <laughs> Sometimes one finger does the trick, but usually it's four fingers and up he goes. Do you want to have a go, Sonia, darling? I think you'll be a bit heavy, but we'll try. <laughs> Watch the cards get smaller and smaller. <coughs> what do you do for a living? When you're living, what do you do? <laughs> oh, a telecoms manager. Telecoms. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just nice to keep someone from the telecoms waiting. <laughs> You don't seem to understand, I have your money. <laughs> All right, so Mel Mellers, if you don't know who he is, he is a leading magician out in the UK. Uh, he did Undiscovered Wonder, he did Twists and Turns. Uh, this book is published by Magic Scene Magazine. And if you want to learn more about Mel, you can find a lot of his material on YouTube. So basically the book is a comedy and magic book. I think the target audience for this uh, are people that kind of work the way Mel does, is that you're doing parlor magic on a larger scale, you're doing stage magic on a larger scale, and um, you are able to do the same routines over and over again for new audiences, okay? And that is kind of a, a, that is kind of a classification of magician, the traveling magician that goes around um, from port to port, city to city, doing his set, and he has the same set that he always does, and he kind of has a scripted routine that he does with his audience, and that's definitely kind of uh, Mel Meller's target audience. His target audience really is the working professional, okay? And so I would argue that if, if that's not you, um, the only other way I could see you using this book would be perhaps if you are in that kind of setting sometimes where you're either performing for children or performing for adults in still like a party type setting or a corporate setting where people are sitting down and watching you and not so much moving around and, and milling because a lot of Mel's routining, his scripting is his humor. And so what this book really is, is taking a lot of those standard tricks that we've seen uh, and then learning Mel's take on them and his scripting. Uh, these tricks are written down very matter of factly for you. In fact, some of these tricks don't even take up much more than a page, you know, or, or, or a two page spread. And that's all the information he's giving you. So, you know, a little nuanced stuff. He's not, you know, baby feeding you those things. He's saying, this is the script. This is the script. This is how I do the trick. And, you know, and, and if you're not familiar, like, this is the secret, you know, really quick. But, you know, he's giving you tons of information in these kind of like easy to assess bite sized pieces. And then the rest of the book, whether it's not uh, tricks per se, then he's packing this full of tons of jokes. And I would say right away that his jokes aren't, um, they're not highbrow. <laughs> okay, it's more slapstick humor. It's almost more like insult comedy where you're kind of, uh, you're not insulting, well you are, you're insulting the audience. <laughs> And so, yeah, it's kind of the insult party humor. Uh, but the book still has theory in it. It still has all his tips uh, and the things that he's learned being a traveling magician. 
And of course, you know, his magic is hilarious, filled with jokes, filled with funny scripting, filled with routine. I mean, it's, this book is Mel's career. You know, this is his career. This is the material that he has made money on his entire life. This is the stuff that has made him famous. And so I think anytime you have a magician that's willing to part with that and then give you that information, I think it's very valuable. You can't put a price tag on it. I think, you know, if you, if you were to ask me, is this worth your money? It's $65. This, this is Mel's working routine. You know, this is how he makes his living. This is not just some trick that he's thrown together to make a couple of bucks. This is, this is his life's work. And so I think anytime you get a magician that is able to do that, it's an instant classic. You, you buy that book and you put it on your shelf and you glean from it year after year after year. I think there's a lot here to take in. I think any fans of parlor or stage, they're gonna love this edition uh, in their bookshelf. What's the overall quality and production value of the book? Uh, it's beautiful. It's a soft bound flip through book but there's, it's full color on every single page. You don't see that in magic books that much anymore. I mean, anytime, maybe your you know, chapter headings are in color, but not every single page, every single photograph, every single blurb, it's color, color, color all throughout. This is a great book, beautifully put together, beautifully laid out. It's the kind of book that you could just sit down and read page after page after page, laughing with Mel all the way through. So if I were to say if there's any negatives to this book at all, and, and you know, I'm a big fan of books, I love books, but if I was gonna say if there's any negative, um, again, this is for the working professional, which is not a negative per se, but you just, you just need to know your uh, uh, just style. You know, you need to know your style and need to ask yourself, is Mel's style my style, okay? And so it, understand that. And that it's also sort of a put down uh, comedy persona, okay? And I would think that a lot of the humor and jokes that he's offering in this book are that style. And so if that's not your style, uh, you, you might glean other things from the book, but I don't think you'll be able to take all of it in. You know, does that make sense? I think that's what he's offering you. And so I think you just, you just really need to be in tune with your character as a magician. I need to ask yourself if Mel's um, advice and tips are gonna work for you. Who would like this? People that like parlor, people that like stage, people that are working professionals, people who go on the road, people who do event and corporate magic, I think would love The Traveling Trickster from Mel Mellers. All right, so that is my review for The Traveling Trickster from Mel Mellers and Magic Scene Magazine. And as always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for providing this book for me so that I could review it for you. And if you wanna buy your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.